Welcome to Sunday, November 5th. I just got done watching a new episode of Card Fight G. Uh, it's 1221 on a Daylight Savings Day. And Bushiro, what the? What were you thinking with this card? So guys, spoilers as always. I'm quickly going to review this unit because I'm tired and I'd like to go to bed. So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. I couldn't sleep without seeing this episode. So, we got our Zeroth Dragon of Inferno, Dar Darmake. His skill was released, and a lot of people are complaining, well, what's this do for Murakumo, what's this do for Tachikaze, so on and so forth. What I gotta say to all you people that literally did not get support for two of the five clans in this, shut up, this thing does wonders for you. And you're about to find out why. So, it looks like the overall cost is the same for Ultimate Strides, and the Counter Blast 2 thing is pretty consistent, which shouldn't be a problem for most decks these days. So, let's read its skill. Let's see why this isn't a problem. Counter Blast 2. When this unit is placed on your Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, retire all your opponent's regards. Okay, we got Kaguro. Bind them face up. Okay, so now you have Nubatama. Your opponent chooses three cards from his or hand, his or her hand, and puts two of them into the his or her drop zone, and the other in, on his or her vanguard. Bind them face up. Choose all your opponent's units. This thing retires your vanguard. I'm pretty sure it retires your soul. This thing, this thing right here, is broken. I mean, godly unpowerful. I'm even pretty sure if I go over to Card Fight Coalition, we're probably going, nope, nothing here. I need to find the Busher product page at some point. But guys, this thing retires and binds your vanguard. You literally are just dead to this unit. If you're running Kagero or Nubatama or friggin' any of these five nations, it literally breaks your deck. And again, people are saying, well, what's this do for Murakumo? Murakumo attacks six to seven times a turn. If your opponent is stuck riding a grade two or lower, they are absolutely boned you're literally making them lose two guards and and they they're, they're losing out on three cards so if your opponent plays a deck with with a low hand ratio but has like a whole bunch of grade zeros in hand they're boned there there's no way around this this card is just unreasonably godlike but from what it sounds like, and I scroll through the comments here, people are just, um, guy can force your opponent back to grade zero if you're lucky. If the situation were played out, I'd, it'd be game over. Yes. I mean, I'll take up the 10k power plasma. There's literally, I mean, it looks like, uh, I'm still going to wait and see the price for a case combined with five clans for him. Potentially still maybe better. I mean, at least we're getting eight copies of each card, it looks like. So let's go over to Bushiro's main page here really quickly. Um, Bushiro. Just type that in the tag. We'll go to Bushy Rogue Card Fight Vanguard site. And alrighty, let's see. Looking for product release. Product release. Here we are. Open that up in a new tab. So, let's see what we're going to have here. New season, an ultimate stride, what's the Z-Rare? 
It's an illustration, so let's see. Introducing a new Gavriel, a new Overlord, new Gurguit, new Gaia, and new this. Don't care. Alright, so. Clan is, is going to include all these. We're going to have 104 new cards, 6 issued reprint, 6 reissued cards. 2 of them are Z-Rares, 2 are G-Rares, 9 are triple, 14 are double, 25 are single, and we have 58 commons in total. Plus 12 SPs, parallel arts. Two cards in every pack will definitely be a single rare above. One pack will contain seven cards. One display has 16 packs. And I'm not seeing where people are getting this info about four cards a case, but still, or eight cards a case. But still, that means we're at least. You have a 50-50 shot when you get a box to at least get a Z-Rare, which will be awesome. And guys, this card, this one unit, it's just deadly. I, I don't know what they were thinking at the time, but... Um, anything in the news? Nope, just decks. I like the art for this. But that's not why we're here. We're here to just not understand this card. I don't think anything else was, new was added today besides his skill. Yeah, um, nope. Guys, I'm scared. Why is this thing so good and why does it make me want to run five copies of the thing in my deck this thing alone and if my theory is right i made a theory that last time we saw one of these units their powers released that each one is just going to be stronger after the next this is so much better than the last one in my opinion you're physically forcing your opponent out of a grade they can no longer g guard if they can't get a grade three back they can no longer perfect guard if you make them ride a grade zero in a perfect situation you run a new Batama deck, the right one, you're going to physically force their hand into oblivion. One way or another. This thing just is just wonderful all around. Plus, the art isn't bad. And even the catchphrase that was that said with these cards is awesome. It's literally just, devour my future and manifest. Zeroth Dragon. And then whatever its name is. Of whatever... But guys, I'm tired, and before I make a fool of myself, I'm going to up start uploading this, and I'm going to go cry myself to sleep now. Until next time, guys, I've been Silver. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.